Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is G Lovely reporting. So there are some things that I need to straighten out a little bit. For the past year, on and off, I have been harassed, I guess stalked, you could put it that way too, harassed um, by a woman that has been I don't know. I mean, I can't really consider her a friend because she's someone that I would speak to over the phone. Um, I've never seen her face. Um, she never shows her identity. Um, she has made a mess throughout this community. A lot of people know her. Um, and I'm not going to state her name out there um, just because she flips out um, anytime a certain name is mentioned. So I'm not even going to go there. Um, but... For the past year, I have dealt with harassment, stalking, threats, emails, DMs, IG messages, etc. Um, this time around, it is phone calls to my family members, threatening their driver's licenses and um, social security numbers um, to post that information. Um, I want to let this woman know that my family does not give a fuck. They know who you are. They know that you're nuts. They know that you are very unwell. Um, they are not afraid of you, nor am I afraid of you, nor will I ever be afraid of you, because I know that's what your tactic is. You like to make people afraid of you. Um, well, guess what? I'm not afraid of you, nor will I ever be. Um... I am not going to stoop down to your level and threaten you. I'm not going to stoop down to your level and contact your family members. Um, this person in particular um, who's doing this never shows their identity online, even though we have all shown our identities online within this community to one another. Um, like me, for example, I show my face. As you can clearly see, this is my face. Um, I'm not going to be afraid. I'm not going to allow this person to bring me down. I am not going to allow this person to make me miserable. I am not going to allow this person to ruin my life. Um, one thing that I need to also state is that there is not just one victim, which is me. There are several, several others. Um, I have stayed in contact with these people um, as I... I'm friends with actually a lot of them now um, because we have this situation in common. We go through everything. We, we all go through the same things and we all have that in common. So that makes things a little bit easier and it's turned into a support group at this point, you know, and, and it's nice to have. Um, I have a lot of people within this community that have surrounded me and supported me. They support me with my YouTube. Um, I've been using my YouTube as a platform, um, and I've been using my platform for good. Um, now, within the past hour, I have been trying to have a conversation with a girl by the name of Ella, which we all know. Um, I had sent her a DM just stating the fact that Rick Bastuba had contacted me, um, just stating that he wanted me to, you know, look her up because of the beef that he has with her. I clearly stated that, you know, I am not on his side. I, I think I did state in the DM that I was on her side. I don't condone, you know, this type of behavior with him. And there's, here's the thing. I don't have an issue with Rick. I don't have an issue with Ella. I was never in their beef in the first place. And that's why I sent that DM to her in the first place. Because I don't have an issue with either of them. And I didn't want to be involved. That's simply what I was trying to kind of state. And maybe I communicated, maybe I communicated it wrong. Now, my stalker decided to send that DM back to Ella. Um, and I... Have tried to talk to her she did block me which is fine I don't care um, not that big of a deal 
Rick, I'm letting you know that I don't have an issue with you, but I never wanted involved in the beef between you and her. I think I also stated to you that, you know, maybe if you just stop talking to her or stop talking about her, maybe she'll stop talking about you. I made a video on it. I've never had an issue with you, Rick. Do I condone your behavior all the time? No, I don't. There are a lot of things that I don't agree on what you do, but I don't hold it against you. I don't yell at you for it. You know, I don't say that I'm against you at all. Um, I literally just didn't have a beef with either you or Ellen. Again, I just didn't want to be involved. Um, I know that my stalker is trying to make this a big deal and, and create drama. And I'd like to get to it beforehand, before, you know, you believe this stalker who also, I told you, came to me and I sent you the text messages, threatened you and your information as well, and Sue's information, and you have those text messages, so you know who exactly I'm talking about who's trying to do this. Um, I'm getting tired of the antics of the stalker slash harasser slash um uh stalker harasser and uh threatener you know um i am not going to allow you to bring me down i am not going to allow you to come in between my me and my family and let me tell you one thing right now bitch and i'm gonna state this very fucking clearly my family loves me they know who you are they know what you're doing they've known what you've been doing for a year and guess what? They don't give a flying fuck. Okay? They stand by me. Guess what? I went shopping with my mommy today. And she loves me. Guess what? I talked to my dad today. And he loves me. Guess what? I talked to the rest of my family today. And they love me. So fuck, fuck you. When it comes to that. I stand strong. And I will not allow you to destroy my life. Oh, and by the way, do all the revenge porn that you want. It does not bother me. Guess what, everyone? I've done porn in my life. Guess what? I'm bi. I swing both ways. Not a secret. Never been a secret. I'm extremely open, and I always will be. And let me tell you one thing. I'm a good friend, and when I'm a friend, I'm fucking loyal as fuck. So, do all the damage that you want to do to me because you can't damage me any further. And I'm not going to allow you to damage me. This is my life. This is my YouTube. This is my creative outlet. So, do your best. By the way, you've got no new information because I haven't given you anything personal. Um, as to me, I'm going to continue working on my YouTube I'm going to continue to be strong. I'm going to continue to have a thick skin. And I realize being in the YouTube world that this comes par for the territory of having a YouTube. There are going to be stalkers. There are going to be harassers. There are going to be haters. And I'm just going to have to deal with that. Um, the one thing though that I do not need to deal with is this situation. And I'm not going to. I'm not going to deal with it anymore. So, um, I'm not going to get into detail of what is going to happen from here, but I will keep my friends posted on things. Um, again, Rick and Ella, I never meant for there to be any drama. I just didn't want to be ensconced in between your drama between each other. Um, I don't have an issue with Ella. I don't have an issue with Rick. I think Rick is cool. He's been helping me with my buying and selling store. Do I always condone all of his behaviors online? No, I definitely don't. But I don't have a personal issue with him, nor will I ever. Ella, you've been nothing but a sweetheart. Um, I actually have stood up for you in a lot of regards, too. Um, never had an issue with you. Um, and I'm very sorry that my stalker slash harasser... Um, is trying to create drama. I very much apologize for that. Um, it's just what she does. You know, she likes to hurt me. Um, she likes to make my life a living hell. Um, and she has for a year. I have plenty of evidence of that. Um, let me see here. Um, 
I have private criminal complaints. I have everything, um, paperwork, everything printed out, um, that she's done to me for well over a year, um, just different things she's done to me, etc. Um, so I have all evidence against this woman in particular. Um, I have all phone numbers that she uses, um, I have all emails that she uses, etc. Um, and let me tell you, one of these days she's literally going to end up hurting the wrong person or messing with the wrong person and they're not going to stand for it. Um, and I'm one of those people. So um, I keep everything filed of what this woman does. Um, I have been in contact with authorities um, and I'm actually probably going to go higher up in that regard, but I'm not quite sure yet. Um, but yeah, the only thing that I really, really wanted to talk about is though that this woman is not going to bring me down. She's not going to get in between me and my family. Um, she is not going to break me. I'm going to continue to do my YouTube. I'm going to continue to be happy because I deserve to be happy. Um, and here's the thing with this woman and I'm going to let everybody know this. Um, I have talked to this woman on the phone on and off for a year. Um, when I last stopped talking to her, it was great. And then I started talking to her again. She actually had apologized for everything that she had done to me. Um, and she was like, oh, I'm so, 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 so sorry. I will never do this again to you. You know, I fucked up. I hurt your family. I'm so sorry. Blah, 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 blah. And everything was fine for a while it was it was fine for a while and um the thing is she used to buy me some things and i'm not gonna sit here and lie about that certain hoodies um clothing and stuff um and you know i appreciate the things that she has done for me in that regard um i know she's also holding that over my head where i was like begging her for more hoodies no bitch no you bought me stuff because you wanted to, and I have those texts to prove it. I have all of your text messages, so you can't hold that over my head either. Um, this past time where I decided to want to be done with this woman was when, for two days, she basically was up my ass, um, texting me 24-7, calling, even though I've had a hysterectomy, I'm still trying to heal. She was stressing me out. I would even say, hey, I'm going to bed, you know, good night. She would continue to text me. I have those texts to prove it. Um, it was getting to be overwhelming. There were things going on that, you know, she was triggered by Crystal Ann Butler. Um, I don't know exactly what was going on with that situation, um, but she was triggered, whatever. Um, and then I know one of her victims, Bad Boy Breeze, um, he had put up a couple of videos of her threatening voicemails, text messages, etc. on his page, and she copyright struck him three times, took down his channel. Um, it pretty much set her off. Um, we were still talking, and then she... And I'm just going to put this straight out there. Um, I have someone in my life, a female, um, who she wanted me to get rid of. I wasn't willing to get rid of her. And she used the words, it's too bad we could have had something more. Here's the deal. I've never actually seen this person's real identity before. I know what her real identity is, as it's already been confirmed. Um, she is a, from, I'm going to allege this allegedly a 50 year old some woman but i am not quite sure about that even though i know that it's been confirmed throughout the community um again i've never seen her face i was not interested in her like that um just not okay to say something like that when it's not like that um, would I say that we had a friendship? Yeah, I definitely could say that we had a friendship, 
but it was over the phone. Two, the girl that is in my life, she doesn't have a say of me getting rid of. That's not her place. Um, as soon as I would not get rid of this female out of my life, um, she flipped shit and she said that she was going to team up with one of, actually two of my enemies. And that's when I said, I'm done. I hung up the phone on her and I told her, please don't ever contact me again. Um, I blocked her number. Um, and that's when the very next morning, um, woke up very, very early. Um, the night before she had left, you know, two nasty voicemails, um, on my phone. Didn't have a problem with, you come after me, I don't, I don't really have an issue. Um, but she came after my mom and left a voicemail on my mother's phone stating she had my, um, sister's information. Um, driver's license, social security number, she was going to post her info along with mine. Um, now she is online doxing my phone number on her titles and her videos. She's using revenge porn against me, a photo, um, from my OnlyFans, um, that was also used against me a year ago, October 25th, 2020. I have that actually, um, and she used that picture in particular to threaten me, by the way. So that's actually old, um, that she's trying to make new again. I'd like to make that very, very clear. Um, give me a second. I am going to show this. Okay. Okay, here's the photo where my fingers are. I have to keep it crossed out um, just because this is YouTube. Um, and the first thread is she's sending all your texts will be posted. Second one is your dad needs to check messages left at his part-time job, bitch. So stop with your bullshit. Um, those were the two threats used with that photo. So the photo that she is using on YouTube right now is from October 25th, 2020 um, from prior threats to me. So I'd like to make that very clear. Um, I am done with being threatened. Um, I'm done with this woman coming after my family. Like I said, my va my family loves me very much. They know what you're about. They know who you are. Um, and they don't give a fuck. Um, so, yeah. My family loves me. My mom loves me. My father loves me. They know what I do on YouTube. They know what I've done in the past for work, which is porn. Um, I have not shot porn in three years since having endometriosis stage four, I've just had a hysterectomy, which I am getting better from. Um, so they know that I've done porn. They know that I do YouTube. There's, you know, there's nothing to hide from my family and they support me with whatever I choose to do. Now, it coming back on them, not okay. Not okay. Because they're not involved in this beef. You know, like, what the fuck? They don't give a fuck. Um... As to private information being posted, it's not okay to use threats. It's not okay to be doxing people's information, and yet you continue to do it. Um, you're a complete hypocrite as well, because your victims are not allowed to make videos, but yet you can. Um, I know for a fact, because she struck down Bad Boy Breeze's page, who had posted videos of your voicemail threats to him as well as text messages and he struck his whole page down even though he's fighting back he's allowed to be angry he's allowed to fight back but yet you can make videos on us and do everything that you do to us to threaten us you've got plenty of victims in this community plenty i can i can name seven on my fingers right now victims that you have um this isn't okay anymore um and i think all your victims will be coming together um and uh, i think that there will be something something done now um and especially now that i'm speaking out about this um i think this is gonna get a lot bigger um and i hope that more victims will come forward of this person 
Um, I am not going to state out her name on this video, um, but if anyone would like to contact me because of these things sounding familiar, feel free. Um, I have an email. If you would like my email, please comment underneath this video and I will tell you who the person is. She stalks, she harasses, she threatens, she doxes, um, and she threatens to post your family's personal information. These are all things that she, do, she does. She emails, she texts, she makes many, many phone calls. Um, and this is things that she has done for on and off for a year. Um, and again, I've been nothing but kind to this woman. I have never done anything to hurt her or her family. I have not made videos on her. Um, there are ones that I have done in the past, but I never used her name. Um, and those were under the names Toxic Friendships. Um, so again, I've never done anything to hurt her because I've never used her name. I've never doxed her information, never done any of that type of shit yet. She can sit here and do it to me. Um, and let me tell you, this type of information, driver's license, social security numbers, phone numbers, shit that she's doing is not okay. It's not okay, nor will it ever be. Um, and she's moving into a legal territory at this point. Um, so, but I am done being silent on this matter and I am done being a victim. I am no longer a victim. I am a survivor of this person and I will continue to be a survivor of this person because this person will not break me. I'm going to get on with my life. I am going to continue with my YouTube and I'm going to be happy in my life. So, um, anyway, these are just things that I needed to say. Um, Ella, again, I didn't mean for any confusion. Rick, again, no issue with you at all. Um, I just didn't want to be involved between your, your beef with you and Ella. Um, and yeah, I'm not trying to make any drama between your, you or Ella both, you know? Um, yeah. So that's everything that I think needs to be said. Um, other than that, again, to this woman who continues to do this to me, my family surrounds me with love and support and can give a fuck about what you're doing. So, you can continue to hurt me all you want. I don't give a flying fuck. They know what I do YouTube-wise. They know what I do porn-wise. Nice try. Nice, nice try. And thank you for trying to come in between me and my family again. But you will not break us a second time. Sorry, bitch. You don't win this round. I do. So, anyway, guys. I'll be back with more soon. Bye. Love you guys. And thank you guys for all of your support. I really, really appreciate it. And thank you for subscribing to my page. Bye, guys.